can't beat this. It's wonderful. Oh. That's me. I'm going to sign off. Um, didn't mean to burn my bread, but it's only the top. And um, even we can have mishaps. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Bye. Day breaks and I'm burned by the morning light. I make the same mistake more than twice. Same song, but brand new dance. I wear out my third second chance. So let me tell you about the fun things about videoing is sometimes you forget to press start. Sometimes you'll video a whole thing and it just won't capture the thing in the, in the picture. So last week I re-videoed the bread. One, I had a GoPro strapped to my chest and it cut off a lot of the stuff. So here we go again. So this time... I am going to video making a loaf of bread again and doing bread rolls and hopefully this time I will capture it in the picture. We are going to make white bread today. Now I have, these are the tins we used to use. This is one of our tins from our work so that's, was from our work so it's old. We now use them just to store potatoes and onions in it but we bought a new tin. Now as you can see, it's a lot bigger. We used to put 750 grams of dough in these tins. So we tried a kilo in this, and as you can see by the pictures, it turned out to be enormous. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna make up a kilo of dough. I'm gonna put 800 grams in this because our loaves used to be quite high in the shop. They were very, high lows so I just sort of want it to be a wider bit, bit bigger bigger um, bread so I'm going to put 800 grams in here and then I'm going to make two bread rolls now with the bread rolls I have some leftover salami and cabana that we were going to make with a pizza we used the ham part of it we haven't used this so we're going to just cut it up and stick that in with those two rolls that I'm going to make. I'm going to make two 100 gram rolls out of it. So let's see what happens. White bread's so easy to make. Um, we have got a Thermomix, so it saves hand making. You can do this by hand. Of course they did back in the days. And here we go. Okay, Thermomix, I'm going to press the scales. And what I'm going to do is make a loaf of bread and two rolls. Now a tip with a Thermomix in a caravan, when you move, the Thermomix scales move too. So keep still. I want 600 grams of flour, Himalayan salt, we need 10 grams. You could use 10 grams of just normal table salt. We use Himalayan salt on all our food, so that's what we tend to use. Bread improver, we need seven grams. Yeast. As you can see, there's the salt, there's improver, and there's the yeast. So you can see that. Put the lid on. So if you're using a Thermomix, I put it in for about two minutes, let it mix in. You want your dry ingredients to be able to mix sort of evenly amongst it. If you're doing it by hand, you can just use your hand or you can use a whisk or a fork or something to mix your dry ingredients. So you do that before you add your wet ingredients. Um, it helps distribute the ingredients amongst the flour evenly. It's done. As you can see, it's all mixed in together. Now I'm going to add 360 grams of water and 12 grams of oil. Now I use canola oil. You can use olive oil, but I've always used canola oil for my white bread. I'm going to put the water in first. Uh, this is just cold water from, or normal water, room temperature water, from our van tap, which is filtered. Um, the reason I put it in the kettle is because if there's any left over, I can then boil it for a cup of tea. Just over, that's right. And then 12 grams of oil. 
That's 12 grams. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna put this back on. Now I'm gonna mix this for 12 to 15 minutes. I have been mixing it for 15 minutes. It does get a quite a tight dough and I find it mixes probably better than 12 minutes. Meanwhile, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna oil the bread tin. It's quite a large bread tin, this one. And I'm also gonna oil two trays. Now I'm gonna oil one top of the tray because I remember I'm gonna make some rolls. So I'm gonna order, order, yeah. I'm gonna oil the top of one tray and the bottom of another. The reason being is with our oven in the caravan, I'm finding that the top of the bread is burning um, because we have it at such top temperature. So I'm gonna put the tray, the one that's got oil on the bottom, on top of the tin when I put it in the oven and I'm gonna leave it on there for about 20 minutes before I take it off and let it brown. Just gonna use a bit of paper towel, clean paper towel, and the same canola oil just to oil everything. So I'll let you watch. Set this to dough. As I said, I'm gonna put in for the 15 minutes. All right, and the dough setting. It's just kneading. <laughs> A quick tip here you can use oil in a spray however in the caravan we find that using bottle oil not only goes further but it also takes up less space than having both bottle and spray we like to carry minimum amount of aerosol cans with us dough there. Stick a little bit of flour on the bench. I spilt that before. When I did this the other day, there was hardly any dough sticking in there. Now, I've got quite a bit. I'm going to let the dough sit there for five minutes, nice and dirty hands, so it rests. So while it was sitting there, I, I cut up some, this is actually streaky bacon. Could use any bacon. Grab us some cheese. That's a lot of bacon. So my five minutes is up now. I'm going to take 200 grams of the dough. All right. There's the dough. I'm gonna take 200 grams of 200 grams of that, and I'm gonna put that aside because I'm gonna make bread rolls out of that, and then the rest of it I am going to put in the bread tin. 200 grams. Just give the dough a quick knead here and shape it so all the open edges are underneath the loaf when you put it in. push it down so we pop that in a plastic bag like this in its tin just make sure the tops nice and loose and we're going to sit that aside for 30 minutes now with our rolls normally I wouldn't put this much bacon in probably about half that if I was making the whole dough as cheese and bacon rolls I'd add the ingredients about one or two minutes prior to the dough being finished. So about the 13 to 14 minute mark and mix everything together for the last one or two minutes. Remember, I wanted two rolls. Just simply mix in the ingredients, knead it a little bit so it comes together. Not too fast here. And we're going to put them on the tray that boiled. Now the reason I'm putting them this close is because I need to fit the loaf of bread in here as well. A little bit of cheese on top of that. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put this in a plastic bag and let it sit for 30 minutes. So I've got my, my loaf of bread here 
and I've got my rare rolls here. So I'm going to sit them for 30 minutes. Sitting there for 30 minutes so it allows it to rise a bit. Now because the oven in the caravan takes a while to heat up, I'll check it after 30 minutes. If it seems like it's good enough, then I will then heat up the oven uh, and they'll still be proving. So these were cheese and bacon rolls. The other day I had leftover salami and cabana that needed to be used up because we didn't actually make a pizza. But we used the ham of it, but we didn't use the salami and the cabana. So I'll put that in a roll. One is like a pocket where you put the ingredients inside the bread and the other one is where you're mixing the ingredients through the bread. Oh, which I did film, I did film myself eating it. I did film it, but it, you missed out on the final product, I think. We'll have to see what the video shows. So those of you who have got a Thermomix, um, you're wanting to clean it. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go for cleaning it on dough. I've put one litre of water in there and I've put a little tiny drop, or part of a drop of dishwashing liquid in there because it will froth up quite a bit. We'll see you in a half an hour. This is what it looks like after 30 minutes. Oops, as you can see the rolls have puffed up a bit. I'm going to put them back in the bag. And you saw how I flattened down the bread and look at this it's feeling pretty good what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that back in the bag let it sit there and it takes about 20 minutes half an hour for our oven to really get to the right temperature so I'm going to heat up the oven while that still proves I've got it on the middle rack Two hundred and twenty degrees, and then we'll come back in twenty minutes. Yeah, it's been another twenty minutes, so a total of fifty minutes. The oven's heated up, and I will show you what we've got to work with. So we've got two nice big rolls there. Look at this white bread now. We're going to take the grease, the bottom of this, and that is going to sit on top of the loaf of bread just to protect it while it cooks inside. As you can see I've got the rolls in there and the loaf in there and I'm just going to put this 220 degrees, I'm going to leave it in the gas oven for 20 minutes then I'm going to take the, the bottom tray which is sitting on top of the bread off and then let that cook some more. So let's see how we go. Well, it's been 20 minutes. We're just going to take this off. I'm just going to turn it down to 200 degrees for another 10 minutes. Um, and then we should be ready to eat it. Mm. See you in 10 minutes. Okay, here it is. It's, oh, you can't smell this. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Yum. Yum. Mm. And then look at this. Ugh. Nothing beats the smell of fresh bread. Look at that. So we've got the loaf. And we've got the rolls. I'm going to let them cool down just for a little bit. And then I'm going to have some. Get the butter out. While Gil's out eating takeaway, I'm going to eat fresh bread. So if you're interested in making white bread, I've put the full recipe in our white bread recipe video and it'll also have variations to the rolls so until next time we'll see you next week yum bye <laughs> so what i did is i forgot to set my timer 
so for my extra 10, 10 minutes I was going to have the bread in it's now like 16 minutes instead of 10 minutes and I should have turned the oven down so I get have a look at this I bent my top of my bread I'm gonna do it'll still taste alright. You take my breath and I can't get it back.